All right, this video is going to deal with demodulation. So what is demodulation? Well, if uh, we have a signal over here, and it contains some information, and typically these signals are analog, we feed it into a black box called a demodulator. And we'll abbreviate that as demod. So what comes in is an RF signal that's got uh, data encoded on it. What out comes out of here is is a binary data, typically one and zeros. So now I want to go to an analog of uh, two guys talking to each other. So we got a guy over here. And he is speaking to another guy over here. And for simplicity, let's say he is uh, whistling a sine wave, which will be over here. <clears throat> so there's two qualities that uh, that for this guy to hear this guy. One is is just a sheer amplitude, right? Is that we got to have some amplitude over here, and and because his ears are not infinitely uh, sensitive, is that this guy has got to speak loud enough for this guy to hear. And uh, let's assume for the moment that he is. And, and so this guy is now decoding uh, the information that this guy is transmitting to this guy. Now, in all uh, the universe, uh, things are not as simple as they seem. Is it, is, it, is it this guy not only hears what he hears, but he hears the background noise. And as long as this background noise is pretty low, is that that this guy can can decode and not miss any information that this guy sends. But as this background noise increases, say there's a crowd or something over here making noise, right? So this guy starts to hear the noise and now he hears signal and noise. And as this noise increases, this guy is in, is starting to miss some of these some of this information. So let's introduce a term the signal to noise ratio. And that is you think about the signal and the noise. And of course uh, radio engineers like to express this ratio in dB. Alright, so if you have a a very high signal noise where there's a lot more signal than noise this guy doesn't miss any of the information so let's introduce another term called bit error rate and we'll abbreviate that as BER okay so I think it's fairly intuitive that as the noise increases the the uh, the bit error rate goes down. Now typically here's what we design to. Typically we design to to drop only one bit and 10 to the 6 bits. So uh, we design the circuits. We, we want to have enough signal over here so that we only miss one bit in every six in every million bits sent. Okay so uh, in subsequent videos we told you how to calculate the signal now we're going to think about the noise okay and it turns out that noise is a nemesis of all radio engineers so let's let's start to think about noise in subsequent videos <clears throat>